Welcome everyone to T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium tonight on the Ron Smith Court where we have senior night for the Lady Senators, also the closing game of the um, regular season before we get into sectional play. That sectional, of course, will be hosted here at West Washington. So the Senators take on Paoli, um, a, a PLAC opponent that they are, are fairly familiar with. A lot of these girls have grown up playing together, so they, they uh, have a... a uh, relationship with yeah. these other girls. So the uh, Paoli Rams come in with a record of 10 and 11. This is their final game of their regular season. West Washington comes in 11 and 9. I'm joined tonight by my broadcast partner, Mr. Ryan Bat. Ryan, what do you think? Hey, man, it's electrifying here in the T. Kermit <laughs> Tower Gymnasium. There we I, go. I tell you, when it, Silas come home there this afternoon, he got there, I think he had golf practice or something. He's, it was like 5 o'clock or something. He said, you better get to school. They're running out of parking spots. I said, <laughs> <laughs> it, what are you talking about? He said, he goes, the parking lot's full, man. I had to try to find my truck. I said, oh, you're w whatever. But I tell you what, you talk about a crowd. We got a cheer section tonight. We got a band going on. We got games in the front gyms and the back gyms. And I tell you what, we got some little cheerleaders out there. It's, it's electrifying here tonight. Yeah, I mean, we've got, we've got stuff going on everywhere. I think junior high girls are in the front gym, correct? Yeah, and yeah. then elementary boys are in the back along with senior night happening here. And then at halftime, we're going to recognize all of our uh, winter league girls um, here. So, you know, we got, we got a uh, house full. Yeah. Yeah, there's, this is this is this could be tied with Salem on the biggest crowd that we've had. Uh, you know, looking on on, on our uh, a visitors team there, Paoli. You know, just what 11 miles down the road. They don't bring just a huge crowd, but you know, probably I guess 40, 50 people over oh, yeah. there. So, yeah. so you know, going to be pretty exciting for them. And then, uh, uh, you know, like I say, Senators come into this game with kind of you know somewhat of an equal record, I guess you might say, with as as pa as Paoli does. But uh, you know, Senators coming in here and, and going to fight hard tonight. I talked with the girls after the loss there, Borden, uh, some of the. Girls Girls and you know, kind of teasing them back and forth, saying you know we got to pick up the pace, we got to figure out something. We can't we can't go into games and do that. So they assured me that tonight is the night. So well, there we go, there yeah. we go. Well, funny, I got a text from uh, the, I'm not going to mention any names, but they're pretty high up in the girls' basketball program, um, asking what I thought, and I said, well, you know, tonight's the night to, the, the, you know. The, really kind of a it, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme to scheme right. of things you want to get everybody you know in you want to get them playing you want to get make sure you get out of here healthy I said you know if we can turn this into a track meet and run up and down and put up 50 shots in a night you know yeah. uh, go out and have some fun and and play and that's that's not what Paoli wants to do Paoli wants to play games in the 40s yeah um, they've only got 10 girls on their team total so coach Cruz working on getting some numbers out but that makes it difficult you know, and we go 10 deep on our varsity roster. So, right. you know, that's one of those that if you're looking for, for something, you know, a, a plus for the Senators, the Senators are going to be much deeper tonight than the, the Lady Rams. Um, you know, and, and like we've said all season long, our girls really, we don't step down once we get to 7, 8, 9. You know, it's yeah. still, a, still a really competitive group of girls there. Right. I, I think coming into tonight's game, I, I don't know how uh, Kristen's going to do tonight, but I, I really think that she's going to play a lot of players. I think everyone will get off the bench no matter what the score is, and, and I think there's going to be some activity. I think she wants to get these girls on that court shooting as many shots as she can in game-like situations as we roll into sectional here on Tuesday night. Yeah, like we said, sectional is hosted here. The Lady Senators did draw South Central, um, which is a game that the girls won early in the year at South Central. I was corrected in on overtime. that one. I thought it was here. Um, but it was at South Central. They ended up pulling that one out by one point, I think. So, yeah. um, you know, the, the Lady Senators have a have a good shot in that first-round game. If they are able to get past South Central, they do play that Borden team that we just played a couple of couple of days Retail, ago, and yeah. we definitely want a different outcome than what that one For was. Sure. So, um, you know, that's that's kind of looking ahead a little bit. But tonight we've got Paoli here, which is a winnable winnable game definitely for the Lady Senators. Um, like I said earlier, this was senior night, so we're going to have a little bit of a different starting lineup, the traditional, um, you know, seniors getting some starts there. So, um, you know, different different starting lineup, but I'm sure Coach Missamore wants to go into sectional getting a, getting a W. Right, right. And I, and I tell you what, you know, I, I, the girls – just the atmosphere tonight, man. I'm pumped up. I know you're pumped oh, up. Oh, yeah. I, you know, it's just the – you know, when, when these girls this, – This is feel, the calm before the storm. Right, and when these <laughs> girls feel this, you know, it, it's not going to be such a shock for them coming into yeah. coming into Tuesday night and then on, back in maybe again on uh, – 
what is that? Uh, we it would be Friday, Friday, right? Friday, Friday night if we win the first game. So, so you know, like I say, I think I think it's great to have our fans here. I think uh, whoever lined us up to have those little girls here tonight cheering on them big girls, you know that that's an outstanding accomplishment. I know they do the Sunday league and the winter league, yeah. or whatever you want to call it, and that's a that's a huge feat itself. But uh, you know, talking about the seniors tonight, you know, you got Shelby Griffiths, a uh, kind of a family member to me. I, yeah, you know, kind of kind of a family <laughs> member, yeah. you kind of claimer. Yeah, I kind of claimer. I call <laughs> I call her smells. So you know, I, you know, I used to give her a hard time. She'd stick to my sister's lap and never come up talk to anybody <laughs> or anything, you know. But Shelby, Shelby's a good kid, and uh, you know, one of her best friends, Ava O'Toole down there, uh, or Eva O'Toole. She's you know, just a good, solid girl and, and, and very polite and kind the same. And, and, you know, those two girls right there would do anything for anybody. And yep. I know, you know, tonight's kind of about them. And after the game, I think tonight's about them. And, and you know, I, I want to see them girls come out here and, and, and perform. You know, I know a lot of girls, they play their, their last game on their court on senior night. But, you know, guess what? These girls get a chance to come back and play at least four more games if they can if they can do it. So, uh, you know, that's, that's one of those things that – I think we're going to look forward to, and, and uh, I, I don't know if they've had any commitments to go to college or not, but uh, uh, I haven't even asked Shelby that. So uh, <laughs> that, Shelby's that's probably not Sunday conversation <laughs> right, at Mammy's table. No, it's not. I tell <laughs> you, I, I'm going to have to get on to him because I really don't know. I'm, we may, maybe we can get Shelby up here after the game and Eva or something to talk well, to him a little you bit. You are so. exactly right. You know yeah. who's going to talk to both of them? It's you. Oh, okay. I've that's, already arranged that that's one. A, that's good. That's good. <laughs> but, uh, so you can <laughs> you can ask them all about that. Yeah, we can do that. But, you know, like I say, two solid girls that we're going to lose on, on, our, on our team this year. But, uh, you know, those girls right there, they, they put in their time. And, they you know, I, I know Shelby come in and started varsity as a, as a freshman yeah. and, you know, played for uh, a different coaching staff and stuff like that. And she had a lot of stuff going on. But uh, um, I, I think there was a lot of things that went on during that that time that you know made Shelby a better player and got she you know she's she's not very uh, I would say she's vertically challenged so <laughs> so, so you know like, you know, like to say we uh, we kind of tease her about being short all the time but uh, you know neither her mom or her dad's just just real real tall anyway but uh, you know Shelby's got a big heart and Ava or Eva comes in here and, and uh, you know the same way I tell you them, them girls there are just good solid girls and. Well, and I, I, I think it's the bat boys that get all the hype. It's the I, I, it, I really do. You think know, that's between right. between you and Corey, you took all the hype away from <laughs> yeah. everybody else. Yeah, so. Corey's over there. That's the first. I don't know if he's what Corey Bat's Corey Bat is there? in the house. He's sitting over there uh, right now, looking over this way. But I, I tell you, this might be the first time that I can remember him being here since he played. Here. I was going to say <laughs> since he played, I remember yeah, him being yeah. in the building, but I haven't haven't he, really seen him. He since might then. actually have came when it was Lexi's senior year and when it was Hattie's senior the last games, but. It's it's hard to get him away from the farm. He <laughs> he kind of he kind of sits there and and manages all that. So well, uh, you know it's good to see him out tonight. You know, great great for the the senior girls to be able to have their last game here. Their last sorry, let me correct that. Their last regular season game here. Hopefully right. they they get you know three or four more here. Um, you know because we do host sectional and regional. So there's a chance that they could play four more times on this court. Um, which is a, a, a big feat in itself. Um, but looking at tonight, they want to get this win. They want to close out their PLAC careers with a with a win over this Paoli team. Right. Um, you know, funny story, you were talking about Shelby. I didn't know that Shelby could talk until she was in seventh grade. <laughs> You're exactly right. And, and she, she was in a classroom beside mine in sixth grade, and she didn't say anything then either. So <laughs> I wasn't – the first time I ever heard her talk, she was in seventh grade. So. Yep, yep. We're about 45 seconds away from our national anthem, so we're going to step aside, have a commercial break, and then we'll be back with our national anthem and our starting lineups. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light 
What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Back to live action here at T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium where the Lady Senators do take on the Paoli Rams. Uh, quite a quite a show tonight for the seniors. We had Hannah Ledgerwood singing live for us. Those of you at home also got to hear her. And then um, also the sign language class out doing the uh, national anthem in sign language. So yeah, that's pretty cool how they do that, Craig. Oh, I'm not ready yet. Computer's Hang on. giving you some fits over there. Yeah, scrolling yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Okay, so Paoli going to start a three-yard lineup. They're going to start number two, Maddie Vernon, the 5'5 sophomore, averaging four points, two rebounds. Also in the backcourt, Lily Hall, the 5'4 junior, averaging four points, one rebound. And then Anna Radcliffe, the senior, averaging three points and two rebounds. Their two forwards are Jerrica Hopper, uh, the 5'8 junior, averaging 12 points, five rebounds. And Carly Higgins, the other uh, forward, the 5'10 senior, averaging 16 points, eight rebounds. Like I said earlier, the Senators gonna go with a little bit of a different starting lineup because of senior night. So we're gonna see the 5'7 senior, Eva O'Toole, averaging one point, one rebound. Joining her in the backcourt, we're gonna have the other senior, number 12, Shelby Griffiths, the 5'4 uh, senior, averaging five points, two rebounds. And the third guard in their three guard set is going to be number 10, Meredith Deaton, the 5'5 sophomore, averaging 14 points, one, or 14 points and six rebounds. Then our two forwards, we're going to have Jayla Bat, uh, the 5'7 sophomore, averaging 11 points and eight rebounds. And then Lily Thompson, kind of the guard forward mix there. She's a 5'6 junior, averaging six points, three rebounds. So the Senators with a little bit of a different starting lineup here for senior night. Getting to see those seniors coming off the bench, or not off the bench, off the bench for their starting lineup. So there's number two, Eva O'Toole coming out, getting the start tonight. A good set of officials tonight. Yeah, Odie good Broughton, game, Darren Wagner. Yeah. Got Otis, Odie out here. Yeah. So we see Jayla Bat getting ready to jump along with Carly Higgins. One of the first times we've seen somebody taller than Jayla there in the yeah, center. So. Yeah. I told Jayla she's got to get up on these tips. <laughs> she says, Dad, I can't jump. <laughs> She got it, but she just couldn't control it. So that one goes into the front court to Paoli. They're going to set up their offense, start working it around. That's a shot, a three-pointer there. They're going to miss that one. Senators with the rebound, and quickly the other way goes Lily Thompson. Misses oh. that one. Paoli with that rebound. Yeah, that's, that Lily had that thing went all the way around the rim and come back out and just ain't able to get that thing in the bucket. I feel like the Senators playing a man-to-man -man right here. Yeah. Jayla's going to put pressure on Higgins out top. And watch those hands. Higgins is their leading scorer. Meredith, Meredith Deaton. With that's the a rebound underneath. Rebound. They swing it to Lily Thompson for three. Short. Short. 
you know, Maddie Vernon coming in, I remember watching her play as an elementary and junior high. And just a real athletic uh, guard that Paley has on the court. Yeah, they they start three of their guard or three of their varsity starters on JV. So, uh, like we said, Coach Cruz with a smaller group of girls here. That's up and good for Jericho Hopper. Her first bucket breaks that tie at zero. They now lead two to nothing. And two times down the court, Paley's looking for that inside post, and looks like we're going to have to maybe get in a little bit more on that. I think Ava being out right now, Ava Woods being out because she comes back in, maybe we'll be able to get her hand straight up in there and, yeah. and stop some of that. It's a drive down the lane. We're not able to knock anything in yet. Yeah, Jayla went up for that shot. I, I mean, she's had the curse the last three games. <laughs> First shot of the night just goes usually an air ball for some reason. So. Senators get the ball into Jayla Bat out around the three-point line. Shelby Griffith's going to set up her offense. Comes over to Deaton, down to the baseline, into Eva. Ooh. I think you missed Jayla right there on the bottom. Yeah, Rams in a 2-3 zone here. And the weak point in that zone is right where O'Toole is across to Deaton. Deaton shot. That one no good. Higgins on the rebound as she brings it up the court again. Full pressure court by Jayla. Jayla's got to keep her hands keep off. Them we don't hands need a off. foul. Hopper with the move against Deaton. Taken away. First turnover for the Lady Rams. Shelby Griffiths going to get hey, out yeah, and one opportunity for her. Nice bucket by Shelby. And that's one thing, you know, we talked earlier about Shelby coming in as a freshman. You know, she typically wouldn't took that shot. And, and uh, you know, she's gotten better here in the last couple of years of coming in and, and just taking the ball to the basket. And, you know, it's not easy being, you know, a smaller person like that. But, you know, it, every once in a while you, you get to step on them and, you know, it doesn't matter how, how tall or yeah. short you are, that ball's going to go through that hoop. Out top to Deaton. Deaton a couple dribbles and hands it off to Griffiths. Griffiths looks to attack. Nothing going there. Turnover for the Lady Senators, their first of the night. Six twenty to go. Nope, not six. Five twenty to go here in the first quarter. Yep, Jayla's going to get that reach. She's got to back off a little bit. We've called it there a couple times. She's she's wanting to hit that ball and run. Nice hands over there. Yeah, I went off of <laughs> Shelby's face. <laughs> I was going to say hands. <laughs> yeah, <I g> pretty <laughs> sure her face is red right now. <laughs> Bailey inbound. Yeah, Higgins gets for in three. the corner. Higgins misses that one. Thompson with that rebound and turns it over. Going to yeah. come back and foul her. So Lily Thompson picks up her first. Higgins going to go to the line where she is a 64% free throw shooter. You know, Paley not deep on the bench, but they're not afraid to take it to the basket. Yeah. Higgins steps up, knocks that one in, breaks the tie. Gives her one point on the night. Second one up and good also. Senders trail four to two early. Nice take by Lily Thompson, unable to get that one to fall. Rams with the rebound, and out the other way they go. Hopper with the ball around the three-point line. Swings it to Hopper. Or, sorry, Higgins. Higgins. Hopper inside, though, posted on Meredith. Jayla's got to be careful inside there not to get that foul. Meredith comes out with the rebound. Meredith with some razzle-dazzle there. Yeah, look at that fancy back. dribble. You know, right there, Jayla comes across the key, right there, the, yeah. the free-throw lane right there. Well, and that's uh, one of those opportunities. You yeah. feed it to her in the corner, and then you, you, you cut right behind it. 
because it leaves something open there. For sure. And she's wide open again. There it goes to her on Good the baseline. Job. Nice bucket there by Jayla Bat. Her first two points of the night. Score is now tied at four. Looks like we're going to see some substitution yep. here in a second from the Senators. You know, Paley girls, athletic build. We never talked about them. Pretty athletic build, uh, muscular feature. Probably some of the same build that we see on the Senator girls. Yeah. Jericho Hopper with the two-point bucket. Meredith Deaton down the lane. Gets that one up. It's no good. Jayla Bat with the rebound. Goes up, and it then gets fouled. Yeah. So far, we're even five rebounds apiece, two turnovers apiece. They gave that one to Anna Radcliffe, her first. Jayla steps up, knocks down that first free throw. She's got three now. We're going to have Elena Schmidt. Nope, sorry, Emma Schmidt. Emma Schmidt. And uh, Ava, Woods. Ava Woods check in. Jayla's second one is off. Taylor gets it into the front court. He's swinging around to Higgins. They go back door to her around a screen. That's going to be another turnover for the Lady Rams. 3-12 left to go. Senators trail by one, 6-5. Shelby's going to bring it up. Looks like a 1-3-1 one, one zone this time down the floor. Hopper all over Ava Woods down there, yeah. just giving her the run around and not letting her well, those get any two type are, of a post. When we talked about body build, those two have the same yeah, body build. You're right. Deaton misses that one. That's going to be a nice battle down low yeah. between those two if Woods is going to be the one to continue to guard her. Rams working their offense, trying to get it down low. Nothing going there. Jayla Bat almost with the steal. Higgins around the corner. Nice help there by Shelby. Back to Higgins in the corner. Pump fake. Nothing going there. Leaves it out. And there's Schmidt. Emma Schmidt with the rebound. Meredith wanted to shoot yeah, that. Yeah, she She's, thought about it. She, she was just calling it all the way down the court. Couldn't pull the trigger yeah. on that one. Yeah. Ava Woods battling down in the post. Jayla pump fake, nothing going there. Goes up for that one. Good bucket for her. She's now got five of the seven. And that's what we got to have. You know, Jayla on the baseline cutter. You got to have her going to the basket with that ball to pull that offensive end to get that kick back out if she doesn't have a shot. Yep. Nice spin move there yeah. by Higgins. If you've seen that, Craig Hopper was pulling Ava out <laughs> on the top side, and allowed, that allowed the other guard to come down and do the seal to get the post position on, on uh, Emma. Or, yeah, Emma. Shelby in the corner, out top to Deaton. Deaton for three. A little short. That one's short. Hopper with the rebound. Well, if we wanted to get up 50 shots, we're getting close. We've got 11 through That's the first good. quarter. That's good. I mean, no one's going to win a game if we don't shoot the ball. I think we've seen Jayla and uh, Meredith switch there on Higgins. Jayla jumps a little soon. She got the rebound. Still got the rebound. I say go with it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to stop now. Yeah, there we go. Draw That's got to be a block. She's not setting you run into her. It's got to be a block, so. Avery Cruz, her first foul. We're going to see Lily Hall check back into the game. Checking in for Maddie Vernon. Yep. Senators in a stack formation. Comes into Schmidt. Schmidt leaves it off to Griffiths. I thought Griffiths was going to pull a three yeah. from about 25 yeah. there. <laughs> Deaton down the lane, puts that one up. It's no good. Meredith can't get anything to fall. Kind of ties the ball up there. and No, no jump ball, no foul. She's working to get that foul, isn't she? Yep. <laughs> yeah. She's going to pick one up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doggone it. 
Yeah, yeah she's gonna she's gonna use one there. She's not yeah. happy, so she's gonna use it. That's the third on the team. Rams have 29.5 seconds to go here. Yeah, you're gonna see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lily Lily Thompson pulls back in for Jayla. Good hustle by Meredith. Shelby scooping her up. Oh. That's going to be Lily's second. Yeah, foul. Lily's second. So Senators get a turnover and then give one back. Wish Shelby would have just stopped and pulled that up yeah. about free throw line. Under 10 to go. Good face up there by Emma. Nice job there by Ava Woods yeah. to control that one. So they're going to end on a two-point uh, miss and a rebound there for the Senators. We have ended the first quarter. Senators do trail 8-7. to seven. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break from United Producers and Ryan Bat. We'll be back in just a moment. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back to live action here at T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do trail 8-7 to seven on senior night. Um, you know, I said early that I wanted to see the girls get up 50 shots. Well, they got up 12 in that first quarter, so we're right there on pace to be yeah. able to get those 50 shots. Uh, Rams go with looks like their starting lineup, so Senators come out. Oh, she's pushing off. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's a... A foul. We're going to get a personal foul on Lily Hall, her second. So she's going to join Lily Thompson on the – oh, no, Lily's out there. Never mind. Yeah, I was going to say she's going to join Lily on the bench, but Lily's out there. So. Yeah. Not sure that Coach Messmore knows that Lily has two, but <laughs> that's all right. Senators set up their offense, look to feed it to Woods in the post. Woods goes up. That one no good. And Hopper with the rebound. And a good move by Ava. I think she could have took one more dribble. Yeah. Uh, you know, but she did step through the defender and got a good-looking shot, just didn't quite get a little bit too much power on it. But uh, well, great that, move. That's the look that we want out of Ava. We yes, want sir. her to, you know, play with her back to the bucket. And when she gets nice wall up again by Ava Woods. Yeah, yeah I thought I thought the ref, he seen her fingertips <laughs> drop. He might call something, but her hands didn't drop. So yep. that's, that's the positive. They go into Higgins and then work it around the three-point line. Unable to find anything. There's a three-point. Vernon's going to shoot that three-pointer. Yeah, that's a miss. But then they do get their own rebound. So Higgins with the pump fake. Nothing going there. Senators collapsing on everything. Nice move yeah. underneath by Higgins to get in and get her sixth point of the night. Senators trail by three, 10 to seven. Senators working that ball around. Deaton for three. Still no good, but Schmidt there with the rebound. Hey, that one up a good. And the Schmidt gets in the scoring column, pulls that lead down to one for the Lady Rams. Rams trying to get that offense going. Oh. 
That one up and doesn't fall, but we're going to get a foul. I'm not sure who that one was on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Emma Schmidt, her first. To the line is Avery Cruz, 67% on the year. That one up and good. Pulls that lead out to two. Cruz back to the line again for her second. That one up and good. Stretches the lead back out to three. Shelby Griffiths. Brings the ball up off to Deaton, back to uh, Griffiths around to Schmidt. Looking to get something going for the Senators. Senators need a little bit of a run here. Yeah. That's, that's not what they need. I thought that was going to be a turnover. <laughs> thought yeah. Lily Thompson threw it right to Higgins. Yeah. Griffiths brings the ball in. <laughs> yeah. I thought, man, she's going to get a five-second ring. Nobody I thought she was going to throw it off of Deaton's arm. Ava Woods with the turnover there. And then down the lane. The Rams missed that one. Yeah, Emma there with the rebound, though. They're just trying to make something happen. She just off in her step a little bit tonight. Shelby inside. Shelby, nice floater there for her. Gives her four. Oh, that's a moving screen. Yep. There we go. Higgins going to pick that, or sorry, Hopper going to pick that one up. Her first. We see Jay Labatt check in for Emma Schmidt. Senators trail by one here, 5.13 to go. Ava Woods oh, with a nice go. seal. There, there we, we go. go. That's perfect. They don't have an answer for Ava down low. No. So if we need to just keep feeding her. Senators look to be in a full court man-to-man -man here. Yeah. Oh, and Higgins down the lane. That one up and good for her. Quickly, Griffiths back across half court. Thompson for three. That one no good, but Griffiths there for the rebound. Going to be a turnover, though. She dribbles it on the sideline. Schmidt comes in for Lily Thompson. Higgins being hounded by Deaton. And switched off the bat. Higgins up and too strong for that one. Bat with the rebound. They kick ahead to Deaton. Deaton stops, thinks about it, puts it up, and then going to hit the ground. Going to be a second foul on Avery Cruz. Yeah. Deaton going to go to the line where she's a 57% free throw shooter on the year. Haley really doesn't have an answer for us as we drive inside. So, you know, the, and the ref's uh, calling pretty much everything on the inside on both sides of the court. So, yeah. you know, we, we need to work that ball low or drive to the basket because, you know, Paley doesn't have an answer for us. You see Addie Patton check in. Second attempt for Deaton. That one also no good. Meredith hasn't been able to get yeah. anything going, can't hit a shot from anywhere. Senators do trail by one. Four minutes to go here in the first half. They feed it down low to Hopper. Hopper goes. Ooh. We'll call that on Shelby. Going to call that on Shelby. I don't know that she was in the act of shooting, though. No. no. Hopper goes to the line. 64% free throw shooter on the year. That one up and no good. First miss for the Rams today. They, before that, they were four of four. That one up and good for Hopper. Gives her five. Rams going to come out in 
what looks to be a 1-2-2 two, two turnover for the Senators. Yeah, I'm not sure why the, we didn't just drive it up the court there. Hopper thinks about getting past Ava Woods, but then pulls it back down. Woods, nice wall up there. Senator's going to come back the other way, deep and down into the lane. Kicks it to Griffiths. Griffiths for three. Oh, that hard. one long. But bat there for the rebound and then gets it taken away. Once again, Senators do trail by two. Three minutes to go here in the first half. Deep three there. That one no good. I was going to say, I think <laughs> it was off Mary's foot. <laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah. She had her back to it, tied up with Higgins, and it goes off of Meredith's foot and kicks out. So, going to be Paoli Ball here leading by two. Comes in, quick look. Jayla Bat with the takeaway. Be nice to get a foul here. Goes coast to coast, up and good for Jayla, her seventh point of the night. Yep, stay down there, Ava. You don't have to guard yeah. her out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why we're why we're not getting that coach through our girls. You know, like that. Ava does not need to guard at half court or full court press on her guard, her guy. Radcliffe turns around and knocks down a two point jumper. Griffiths back across half court. They look to feed Woods. Nothing going there. Over to bat in the corner. Bat for two. Oh, an air ball. I can call the air balls, my kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you that one. Okay. <laughs> Rams looking to set up their offense here. Slowing it down just a little bit. Nice job by Deaton. That ball goes out of bounds. Coach Cruz looking to get yeah. a timeout call, but Wasn't can't it? call a timeout if you don't have the yeah, ball. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I don't <laughs> think anybody had possession, and his girls was the only ones around the ball, but yeah. he still didn't have possession of the ball. Senators get it across half court. Jayla feeds it to Shelby. Shelby on the ground up to Meredith. Meredith drives baseline, nothing going there. They've got girls all over the place. Shelby, Shelby Griffiths down up. the lane, throws that one up. It's no good. I think Meredith's just frustrated that she can't score and she's she's not used to that, you yeah. know, and, and it's just kind of throwing her game off a little bit. I agree with you 100%. She's trying to get some buckets but just yeah. can't really get anything going. That's a bank in for Maddie Vernon. Deaton swings it over to Schmidt. Schmidt down the lane, leaves it off to Woods. Woods goes up. Good bucket for her. That's the lead back to three. Under a minute to go. Deaton steps out. They leave it off to Hopper. Hopper looks at a three for a second, but decides it's better. Yeah, I'd say Paley's going to hold the ball the last second. Yeah. Only five to go here. There's a three for Hopper. It's no good, but Higgins up and knocks that one in. So Higgins. Yeah. Puts that one in. That gives her 10 in the first half. The Lady Rams lead 22-17. Uh, special guest coming on here in just a moment is going to be athletic director Darren Russell. Um, he's, he's making his way this way after his uh, halftime things that he's got to do for the halftime shot and everything. Um, he's going to talk to us about sectional and everything coming up. But we're going to step aside for a quick commercial break, and we will be back 
in just a few moments. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Back to live action here at T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium where the Senators do trail 22-17. Those of you at home, you can see the uh, Winter League girls being announced coming out onto the floor. I believe that was second grade that was just announced. Now yeah. we've got third and fourth coming up. Um, you know, lots of, lots of girls out here, lots of Winter League stuff going on. So, um, you know, great job by the, by the crew that runs that and gets that going and, and does everything for the basketball program. We're going to run down some stats while you uh, get to see those be announced and hear them in the background. So the Lady Senators are led in scoring in that first half by Jayla Bat. She has seven. Emma Smith chips in two. Shelby Griffiths, the senior, with four. And Ava Woods with four big ones um, off the bench. The uh, Rams are led in scoring by Carly Higgins. She's got 10. Jericho Hopper with five. Anna Radcliffe with two. Avery Cruz with two. And Maddie Vernon with that three that she banked in. The Senators are one of five from the free throw line for 20%. They're eight of 17 from two point range for 47%. 0 of six from three point range. So overall, they are eight of 23 for 34%. The Lady Rams come in. They knock down five out of six from the free throw line for 83%. They are seven of 15 from two-point range for 46% and one of six from three-point range for 16%. So overall, they're eight of 21 shooting for 38%. In the first half, the Lady Senators have 13 rebounds. The Lady Rams have 12. There are seven turnovers for the Lady Senators and seven for the Lady Rams. So it kind of evens out there um, for the – for the Senators and the Rams. Um, the Rams do hold that five-point lead. We're going to step away, have our commissioner's corner. We will be back for more action here in just a few moments. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. It is your weekly conversation with the Commissioner. It's the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King filling in for the Coach Bob Lovell. Welcoming on the busiest guy you know. That's the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nottig. Paul, great to be with you as always. And I know doing scoreboard updates on Indiana Sports Talk over the last few weeks, one fun thing that always pops up, county and holiday tournaments. You yourself, Paul, is a former player playing in those where it's either multiple games in one day or you're going back and forth to the gym every single day. Uh, what do those mean to you? 
Well, I think it's a, I think it's really a great time of the year, Brendan. It's it's a you know coaches of you, you for a moment you take away the, the the school aspect, which is the most important thing that we do, but you take that out of the day to day for these student athletes, and it puts a coach in a gym with student athletes, and it gives them a chance to to really work on the game over break, and I think that's what's really important for me. And you know we've seen. Uh, basketball in Indiana is certainly certainly in great shape, but we've seen the number of holiday tournaments across the state just have just jumped up to a, a, a I mean they're everywhere. I think I mapped out where I could have seen like 27 games if I would have stayed on it between the end of Christmas and New Year's. Um, but when we went to 22 game schedule, we really saw an increase in the number of holiday tournaments. But it's you know it's just a great time of year. It's a chance to focus on family, friends, and basketball. Well, it's a community aspect, right? Because not only are the kids on break, likely the people in the community are on a holiday break from work, or at least a little bit, right? So it gives them a chance to catch a game. It does. It does. You know, it's just a, it's a, it's a more relaxed time for you know as we all try to to make a living working, and it, it gives you a chance to have a few days off and go. Okay, we are joined now by Senator Athletic Director, Mr. Darren Russell. Darren, talk to us a little bit, a little bit about sectional coming up. Yeah, uh, we're fortunate next week uh, we host sectional 61, um, probably the toughest, the top 1A sectional in the state. <laughs> that, that's uh, definitely an understatement, yeah. I think. Yeah, number one, number two teams uh, in the state coming here. It's going to be a madhouse um, all week. Um, Starting with Tuesday night, Lanesville plays um, Christian Academy. Christian, Christian Academy game <laughs> one, followed by West Washington against South Central, and then on Friday night, Friday night's when we're really expecting. You know, this place is going to be sold out, probably standing room only. Much like those of you that have been to regional, where you have people standing around top, as Lanesville and Rock Creek, or the winner of the Lanesville game will be playing Rock Creek. At 6 o'clock, um, the winner of the West Washington South Central game will be playing Borden, approximately 7.30. And then Friday night, or Saturday night, the championship will be at 7 o'clock. How, uh, how do people go about getting tickets for that, Darren? All, they... all tickets will be sold here at the door, um, $7 for single session tickets. Or if you want to buy a season pass, those are 15 get you in all three nights. So you know, that's, 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 that's cheap. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a heck yeah. of a deal. I agree. Um, you know, you've got lots of festivities going on tonight. You've got senior night here. You've got uh, junior high in the front gym. You've got elementary in the back gym. Kind of a kind of a, a who's all of, of uh, you know Camelsburg. We got everybody yeah. in the in the gym tonight. Uh, we do, and I mean, with it being recognizing the youth league girls too. I mean, you got a lot of the elementary girls here tonight um, watching. You know, hopefully this is what they want to be doing, or they see themselves doing in the next few years. So, I mean, just a great great atmosphere tonight. Yeah, yeah, and you talked about it. You know, we've got sectional going on next week for the girls, um, but this weekend you've got wrestling at Jennings County. You've got boys basketball next week here at home in the middle of sectional. So, crazy yeah. week for you. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> and it starts on Monday night. I think we've got all three gyms going again Monday night, Tuesday night sectional, uh, Wednesday night. Give us a chance to recover. <laughs> next Thursday, boys are here. Um, against Crawford County, and then Friday and Saturday sectional, and then the following week is going to be just about as crazy as we will host regional on February 10th, and it's going to be a little different this year as in, in the past years we knew the team, we knew the four southern sectionals was all going to be here in 1A. This year we will not know who is going to be at the West Washington Regional until Sunday because the IHSA is wanting to try and have everybody play halfway where not one team's driving 80 miles one way. So what you're saying there. is we could have a 4A regional here at West Washington. Yeah, I mean, we, we, yeah. Could, have, we could have two 1A teams, we could have two 4A teams. Uh, you know, or, you know, it's also, I guess, a possibility that we would have no 1A teams and just 2A and 3A teams. I mean, you just, you don't know. It, everything's going to depend upon who, who wins sectionals next Saturday night. So I, I sent Darren a message as soon as the draw came out, and I said, hey, Darren, do you know what is exactly halfway between Greenwood and Evansville? And, and Darren, Darren didn't, didn't know, and I said, well, it's Camelsburg. Yeah. <laughs> because that's two sectionals that match up, is a right. Greenwood sectional and an Evansville sectional. So 
it's a it's a possibility. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm very anxious to see who we have. So thank you guys for all the work you guys have done supporting, uh, you know, the Lady Senders covering all of these teams all year long. And, you know, and then the work you're going to do next week in, in sectional all week covering every team, every team's games, and then the following week doing the regional. So people, people around here don't know how fortunate we are to have, have you guys doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Darren, very much for your time. Appreciate it. Um, you know, if anybody has any questions about sectional or regional, let uh, give Darren Russell a call. He'll be glad to field all of those and um, get you what you need for your sectional and regional. Jayla Back comes out, chips in her uh, first two points of the second half to get the uh, Lady Senators going again. The ref cut his. Hand yeah, it looks just like a Odie, bit Odie Broughton cut his hand, so he's going to get his <clears throat> hand taped up. How about that, coach? He just had a band aid in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're lucky here tonight. We have two athletic trainers Damian Miller, oh. our athletic trainer, um, and then Ian Bostock, the uh, Paoli athletic trainer. Both are here. So we've got two athletic trainers in the building for Fantastic. one game. That's. That's going to be a turnover. That just poked away out of Jayla's hand off her foot. Yeah. They was looking for that pass and quite have good handle on that ball. So you can keep good hands on that ball. It, one thing we got to pick up. Those of you also looking to uh, sponsor West Washington live stream, sectional is a great time. We've got some things out there uh, for people to be able to sponsor. Um, I believe we came up with prices of 154 a game yeah you can be our game sponsor and that gets you uh you know your name read your ads read everything kind of filled out all uh game long so lots of different options there we even have an option of you tell us what you want yeah. and we'll come up yeah. with a price for you so yeah, and you can uh think for like a thousand bucks you can do yeah, all yeah, the sectional can, regional the whole, everything yep pay a thousand bucks and we'll say your name about a million times yeah and we, you've got kids here craig so you kids can come be yeah, on the radio kids can come be on the radio too <laughs> yeah. whatever whatever yeah. works <laughs> i know we did get a couple auction companies in in the ball we got a commissioner going to be on here if you're running yeah. for you're running for a county office state office anything like that uh you want to you want to put us an ad put an ad on you know holler at us because uh you know like i say we're we're ready to put you on here yeah Senators come out, swing the ball quickly underneath to Ava Woods. Hey, she goes up and puts that one in. Did you see that pass by Lily Thompson? Yep. Lily threw that in there like she was playing softball, and that's what we got to have. <laughs> you know, Senators, you know, past few games, even last game at Borden, we kind of just throw the ball. We need to, you know, put a target on them people and get that ball up there. I would say Ava Woods <laughs> probably the only person that could catch that ball, though. So, yeah. you know. Jayla Bat picks up the foul across the court. I think that really Shelby probably should have got that one because she's the one who, yeah. who fouled her three times before she ever got to Jayla, and then Jayla barely touches her and picks up that one. So down the lane is Hopper. She misses that one. Lily Thompson with that rebound. Yeah, look at Lily push the ball. That's what we're that's what we're after from Lily from you know day one is Lily has the ability to beat everyone up the court with the ball in her hand. That one deflected out of Lily's hand. She was trying to get it to Meredith. Finally does get it to Meredith. Meredith goes baseline, little floater up. That one no good. And Meredith can't get anything to fall tonight. And that, that would be a turnover on Vernon. Yep. Turnover number one for the Lady Rams. Just a little bit of sloppy play here in the first part of the yeah. first part of the Trying second. Trying to half. get it back back under control. Yeah. I like the movement of the ball. Center swing it all the way across court to Meredith. Meredith back to Shelby Griffiths. Now Meredith drives baseline. Nothing going there. Turns around. Thinks about putting that one up. Besides better, Lily Thompson with the pump fake down the lane. Floater up and good for her. <laughs> Off the hip. That's her first two points of the night. First lead for the Senators, 23-22. Higgins down the lane, up and good for her two points. Yeah, one of the things, Jayla got her back turned to her a little bit. And, you know, not going to pick up that third foul. Yeah. Goes into Woods. Travel. Woods caught it kind of awkwardly and yep. had to put the ball on the ground first and was unable to get it there because she was falling already. So and You know, going back and watching our live stream, uh, me and the girls try to go back and watch some of that stuff and just point out a few things. And You know, it's just it's funny how that ball catches on your hip sometimes yep. and you don't think about it, but it does. And 
you know, it, it, it's just one of those those things that you got to deal with. Man, I thought I was the only one in the world that went back and watched our live streams. Yeah. <laughs> Parent mode. <laughs> <laughs> Hopper up and good for her bucket. That gives her seven. Yeah, we're going to have to play some kind of different defense here. Messmore's going to have to come out and, and try something new. We're going to have to keep Ava down low. Yeah, Paoli out here in a 2-3 zone. Woods working the top of that. Passes it off a of Higgins foot over to bat in the corner. Shelby down the lane, floater. That one too hard. Rams with the rebound. Higgins up the side. Hopper out at the three-point line. Not going to shoot that one, so they're going to set back up in their offense. Goes into Higgins down low. She's got Bat and Deaton. It's then taken away by Griffiths. Oh, and Shelby gets sandwiched in yeah. the middle. She became a Ramwich. Yeah, that's for sure. I think she's seeing a little star reaction right now. <laughs> so Senator's going to take it out of bounds on the far sideline. We're going to see number two, Maddie Vernon, and number five, Addie Patton, check in. Griffiths brings the ball across half court off to Lily Thompson. Thompson looking at Woods but yeah. unable to get her the ball. It goes underneath. Trying to feed Jayla Bat, but yeah. that's going to be a turnover. Paoli really sucking down in that lane. Well, they've seen Ava Woods kind of go, go down there and be able to get what she wants down there. Higgins now with the drive. Or, sorry, Hopper with the Hopper drive. With the drive. That one good. She's now at nine. Senators trail by five. We've got to get something doing, going here on offense, and, and one of those key factors is getting Meredith in the scoring column. And I believe that would be a reach. Going to be a jump, jump ball. ball. Possession goes to Paoli. Meredith comes out. Schmidt comes in. Paoli going to be picked up in the full court here. That one gets into Hopper. Hopper picked up by Woods. I'm not so sure we want Woods yeah, guarding that's, her that's this what I far don't from the bucket. I don't understand what the coach and staff's doing down there on that point, but we got to get Ava to be down on that block because now what's going to happen, see what's going to happen here. We're one-on-one. -on -one. They want to get her down low. We can't cause a foul on Jailer or Meredith underneath. Nice job by Schmidt to come out of there with that. Going to be a turnover, though. We get the rebound, and then we try to get it to Lily yeah. Thompson, and it goes through her hands off her chest out of bounds. And we're looking inside. Yeah. Ava doesn't have any fouls, right? Uh, no, yeah. I don't have her for yeah. any. Senator's going to drop into a 2-3 zone. It goes off to Higgins on the far side. She drives baseline. Nothing going there. Two-point attempt is a miss. Senator's with the rebound and quickly the other way. They'll leave it off to Shelby Griffiths on the far wing. Comes back to Schmidt. Senator's going to set up in their offense. There's Jayla underneath the basket. Yeah. There's Ava Woods getting that's position Jayla's also. That's where Jayla's got to go with her. That's a good foul. I believe that's going to be on 24, Anna Radcliffe, her second. Senators do trail by five here, 156 to go in the game. In the third quarter. Sorry, in the third <laughs> quarter. My bad. Going to be a 30-second timeout. We're going to stick with you right here. Ryan, what do the Senators need to do to get their offense going? You know, I I, I tell you, I think the, the, the key here is really just getting Meredith in the – to get her to score. Uh, you know, I, everyone's doing a great job. I don't think that Meredith has to score for us to win, but I think the confidence that Meredith brings to the table when she's scoring, that just everybody flows just a little bit different. And, you know, I think, I think that's just the catch right there is – we got to get that ball to Meredith underneath somewhere to where she can get a score or get a good empty three-pointer to shoot. Uh, but that's just one of those things that, you know, I think the Senators are just – they're looking for the leadership that Meredith brings to the court, and we're just, we're just kind of, you know, falling behind a little bit. 
I don't think any senators in double digits, right? No, no. Jayla has nine, but um, she's the closest one to that double digit range there. I think the Senators playing great defense, though. I mean, I, I really would like for him to see Ave with a stay down low. I, I'm not sure why they're letting, why we're doing a man, man to man, and getting Ava down. Uh, you know, coming out to the three point line to guard, but you know, it's just one of the things we're going to have to work on. Comes all the way through. Lily Thompson gets that one up on the backboard and gets that one to go through. She's got four. Paley wanting to slow it down. Yeah, Senators, like I said, they want to play this one. Yeah, here we go. Now we're playing a little bit of a zone. Higgins down the lane. She puts that one up. That gives her 14. Rams still lead by five. Thompson looks to feed Woods. Can't get that one there. Floater down the lane. Going to be a foul. Shelby going to go to the line for two. I think uh, Hopper. Hopper. Gets her second. Yeah. Coach Cruz telling her she doesn't need to foul there. There's no point in fouling. Griffiths leaves that one short. I thought we was going to get Paoli in a little bit of foul trouble, and then we just never did continue to keep yeah. pounding the ball down. You know, and I think that's where the Senators lacks all season long is we, you know, we, we have to go to that basket. Second one up. That one also no good. Rams quickly back the other way. Fairly coach telling them to hold the ball just a little bit. Let's get one shot. Yeah. We're going to have to keep pressure on them. Well, now that we're in a, a little bit of a different zone, um, you know, Ava Woods doesn't have to come out and guard Hopper at the, at the flying W. Yeah. They've Maddie used up Bergen about 20 to shoot seconds of this one. That's good if you're a Ram fan. There's a three-point attempt by Maddie Vernon. She about pulled it while ago, and then she couldn't hold it no more. Yep. Ten seconds to go here in the third. Good hands there. 5.9 to go in the third. Senator ball on the far side. They're down 33-25. Ball comes into Shelby. Shelby back to Emma Schmidt. Schmidt feeds it underneath the Woods. Woods goes up and unable to knock that one in. So that ends our third quarter with our score 25 for the Senators, 33 for the Rams. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break from Lynx Clothing and Shoes, and be back for that fourth quarter action. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. Back to live action here at T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court where the Senators do trail 33-25. Eight minutes to go in this one. Senators got to get some offense going. Yeah, the Senators got to get out here and get something working out. We, you know, Paley's doing a great job of attacking the middle of the basket. Uh, Senators not driving in, there, and then, but, we're, you know, there again, we're not shooting the ball either. So, uh, got to get somebody open to do something. Yeah, Senators only with eight shots in that last quarter. So which is the big difference because in the first quarter, the Senators had 14. Yeah. They get it to Thompson. Thompson drives baseline, nothing going there for her. Higgins, no good. Senators with the rebound. Deaton trying to get it to go anywhere. She turns it back over. Higgins now with that layup. It's her 16.
<laughs> then we just turn it right back uh, over I'd say again. we're going to need to call a timeout real fast here. This one getting out of control. We're down 10. <laughs> Lily Thompson going to pick up that one. That's her third. Kind of a cheap foul there, but. They work that play, try to get it to Hopper down low, but nothing going with Ava Woods yeah. on her. Paley's not going to – I don't think Paley's going to look to drive and score too much. I mean, they're up ten points. Yeah. That's Higgins for three, no good. Schmidt with the rebound. She's going to get a foul on Hopper. That's Hopper's third. Senator's going to have to pick up the pace here and get. Yeah, we're going to have to start attacking the basket. Goes to Woods in the corner. She misses that one. Paoli going to slow this one down. Yep. Senators may have to turn this into a free throw contest. That's up and good for Anna Radcliffe. Yeah, Bailey's going to call timeout for us. Yep, that's a, so. <laughs> that's a 30 second timeout. We're still going to stay with you here. Finally, we're going to put Jayla back in the game. The, the Senators have to get going. They're, they're down now 12 with six minutes to go. Yeah. We've got to speed this game up. This game has to continue to roll, and we have to go to the basket. If we don't, if we don't continue to roll and go, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah. That's where we got kind of caught up in that in Borden the other night. You know, right. we, we kind of just let them dominate. We're, 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 we're a great team, don't get me wrong, but we, we seasonally let the other team predict yeah. where we're going in our games. Well, and like we said, to start this one, you know, they want to play games in the 40s, and that's, on, yep. that's the pace that they're on. Right. You know, we want to play games in the 50s and 60s, and that we got to speed it up if that's where we're going to be. Yeah, we're, if, you know, we're, we're down, so we have to score, yeah. you know. It's, this ain't a matter of, uh, you know, Paley will hold the ball. We've seen that there at the end of the third quarter. You know, they held the ball for a minute. I don't think any senator other than Lily's got three fouls. Nobody's in foul trouble. we got to get that ball moving. Good pass, dude. And, and even Ava. that, I mean, that'll work. Ava, Ava Woods with a two-point bucket after a three-point miss and a rebound. Yep, a good job by Shelby to be there. We're going to get a foul on Higgins. We have to get Paley in foul trouble. Is her second? Only her first. First. So Senators Man. trail by 10 now with just under six minutes to How many minutes points to does she have? 16. 16. 16 points and no fouls. Senators get the offense going through Deaton. Over to Schmidt. Schmidt looking to feed the post. That one's going to be tipped out of bounds. You know, and we, we said this in the Orleans game 100 times, but just the girls getting in the passing lane. We have to make better passes. Senders looking to attack here in the center. Once they attack the center of this zone, Deaton for three, bang, go. knocks that one in. Her first points of the night come in the fourth quarter. Now we're moving. Good Woods job. with a takeaway. Turnover number four for the Rams. Travel. No, nope, she's going to get an offensive oh. foul. So, going to be Deaton's second. Ringham's going to inbound this one. Senators with the full court press going on here. Swing it out to Hopper, then over to Radcliffe. Rams not in any hurry to score here. That's going to be a travel. That's turnover number five. Senators come back up, set up their offense, try to get something going again. That one almost stolen by Higgins. And then going to 
Higgins or Hopper going to reach it? Higgins is going to get that one there. Well, you said she didn't have any fouls. Now she's got two. Yeah, hopefully I <laughs> cursed her. <laughs> <laughs> Senator's back within seven. Comes out top to bat. Bat looks to dribble it through. Doesn't get anything going. Schmidt. Yeah, the Senators just can't catch the ball. You got to look the hub. Get a Paley player running down court all alone. Senators trail by seven here, 4.30 to go. They feed it to Hopper. Hopper, one bounce. That's a travel. Paley's offense revolves around the top of the key. Yep. Floater by Radcliffe. That one no good. Shelby's got an up look to Jayla. There we go for Jayla's bucket. She's now in double digits. So they cut the lead to five. 345 to go here. Deaton on Higgins. Comes out top to Hopper, back to Higgins. Now they feed it in the post to Hopper. Hopper, a couple of power dribbles against Ava Woods. Nothing going there. Haley working the ball, burning that clock. Yep. Three minutes to go. They're going to get Ava for that one. That's an okay foul. Yeah, that's all right. Stops still, the clock. Still only her first. Might be an all-time record for Ava. We'll have to call her out on that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes to go in the game before you had your first foul. She did a great job tonight just stopping the penetration to the middle. Somebody's got to go out and guard the ball. There's Radcliffe. a deep three by Radcliffe. Yeah, that's going to be a, one of those fouls that's unexpected. <laughs> Crew's going to pick that one up. Three to three on the foul column. Actually, three to four. Yeah, that was the fourth one for yeah, them. We could get another foul. We could play free throw games. That's the fourth foul on Cruz, so... We'll leave it off to Deaton. Deaton back to Griffiths. Meredith wanting to shoot that three. That's a nice drive. She just can't get nothing going. Yeah. Coach says match up and let's get this ball back. Senators do trail by five, 32-37. Right here is where we need that trap, right there. Oh, well, yeah, that would be Senators' ball. Turnover for the Rams. That's their seventh of the half, 14th of the game. Ava Woods in the corner. She flips it up to Griffiths. To bat in the corner, she goes baseline. No go there, going to stay with Senators, nice pullback there for nice Schmidt. Shot. Schmidt knocks that one in. Lead down to three. Comes ahead to Radcliffe. Radcliffe. Right there. Need that trap. Under the basket, girl. I think here's where we need to burn a foul. Yep. We're going to have to stop that clock. A minute 40. We're going to have to get a foul. Shelby, you're going to have to foul. Somebody's got a foul. Here's 
here's the problem. We, w we wasted about 30 <laughs> seconds yeah, there yeah. and had the same outcome. We, right. need to, we need to foul early. That's right. we got to change something. So Lily Thompson comes in. She just throws it right out of bounds. Going to be a turnover for the Lady Rams. Senator's going to get the ball. Coach Cruz talking to Odie. Senator's quickly into the front court, goes off to Deaton. Deaton looks at a three, no go there. No, she hesitated. Comes to Jayla Bat, who's then tied up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't give him much time to kind of catch that ball, do we? Nope. So going to go to the Rams on the alternating possession. In the front court to Higgins. We're going to have to foul. Coach Cruz going to take a timeout. Coach Messamore going to talk to her girls. I agree with you 100%. Ryan, I mean, if we're going to foul, we got to foul, and we got to foul early, get this game, you know, moving here so that it's a it's a free throw shooting contest. Here's, we're down three. They're going to burn up a minute. Here's what it comes down to. We need to know the statistics of the girls shooting the free throws right now and, and know who to foul and when to foul them. And, you know, that's what it comes down to the last well, couple gonna, minutes of the I'm game. I'm going to tell you right now, if number five's on the court, Addie Patton, the freshman, she hasn't shot one yet this year. I'm picking her. That's right. <laughs> You foul her, you send her to the line, and you make her shoot free throws. You know, we got five coaches. They ought to, they ought to like, look up here at us, and we yeah. could tell them the statistics, and we could help them out. Yeah. <laughs> Bad news, she's not on the floor. Oh, well, dang. Who else can we foul? Uh, well. Don't tell me everybody else is 75 nope. percenters. I'm going with 12. <laughs> That's Lily Hall with a 50 percent free throw shooter. Yeah. That's a two-pointer. Thompson oh. tries to rebound it. Going to stay with the Lady Rams. No, I don't, I don't think it's a time to run a run here. We need to foul and get – we don't need time off the clock. Yeah. They send two around a screen, and then Higgins down the lane. We got Senator Senators ball. and Rams on the floor all over. So that's going to be Senator Ball. You know, Craig, at one, point, one minute and one second here, you know, this is a time where the Senators got to know what's going to go on. We got to get somebody open. Somebody's got to make a good shot. It don't have to be a three-pointer. Just got to get to the basket. Right there is the three-point opportunity for Jayla back. Nice take by her. She's got 13, cuts that lead to one. Now she goes to the free throw line. Has the has the bat free throw barn been open? Hey, you know what? I'm not even going to say nothing about that free throw <laughs> barn. <laughs> 50.7 to go here for the Lady Senators. That one up, oh. no good. I believe she traveled. Higgins up the sideline. Yeah, let's trap her. Let her shoot. Oh, that's, that is a travel there. That was a travel. Hopper, no good. Lily Thompson with the rebound. Haley going to call timeout. <laughs> Greg, could you imagine before he blew the whistle, there was four senators wide open on the other end of the court. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> – Lady Center is going to take a full time out here. We're going to stick with you, Ryan. You got 33 seconds to go here. You're, you trail by one. What play you draw up? You know, I don't, I don't know. I just – you know, we talked about the, the, the things of the game. You know, it, it, you know, Meredith finally got into the scoring column there, and Jayla seems to be the – you know, the, the hot one underneath. But, you know, I, I tell you what, I think where you go is you do it, you bring something out of the woodwork and you throw that ball to Ava Woods underneath. I think that's your most secure bet is Ava Woods underneath and Meredith and Jayla crashing the other side. I, I, you know, like I say, I think Mer or, uh, Ava has dominated Hopper underneath as far as, as bodying and going for the ball and the rebound. So so we need to, uh, you know, get, get Ava underneath the goal. Get her wide open and let her go in. Worst case scenario, Ava Woods has got to be one of our best free throw percentage shooters of, of, that there is. So, you know, I, I say throw the ball to Ava Woods and get her underneath the goal and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I like that. That 100% for Ava Woods underneath the bucket. 
you know, you get her down there, she's she's going to go up strong. Either she's going to put it in or she's going to get fouled and get to go to the free throw line where she's a 77% a free throw shooter. So I like that either way. Yeah, yeah. And you've got Jayla and Meredith crashing on the other side. Well, the good news is Ava's not in the game, so her strategic plan just failed. Yep. <laughs> I don't like when they do this. Shelby with the ball. Senators playing four on three for a minute. Yeah, we got it back. Here it is. Meredith drive to the lane. Bucket by Jayla Bat. It puts them up one. Lead by one. And, uh, <laughs> Bailey's going to get timeout with 7.3 seconds 3. to go. Jayla Bat down the lane, knocks that one in. Senators lead by one. 7.3 to go here. Coach Cruz, he's drawing up a play. Here's where the Senators have to be careful. Don't foul. Yeah. We talked about fouling for the last three minutes. Yeah. We've Try talked about. Pick up fouls yeah. in these last three minutes. Now we're telling yeah. girls don't yeah. foul. Yeah, and I think I think what I, if I'm Paoli, I'm going I'm going for Higgins, and I, and I tell you I think she's you either go Higgins or you go Vernon. I think, and they're going to shoot a three pointer. Yeah, and you you check Ava Woods into the game. She's going to guard Higgins or sorry Hopper, Hopper down underneath. low. Hopper underneath, yeah. And she's done a great job this whole game. Wall it up, you know. Only picked up one personal foul, so. Um, you know, nice, nice game by Ava Wood. She's yeah. got eight points, one foul, countless rebounds. She's she's doing really well underneath, and you know that takes away one of their options. I right, think right. you know if it's me, I'm going to Higgins. I'm going to let her go one on one against whoever she's yeah. got. I think we can test the ball inbounds, but we have to get back and no, and you know don't get don't get beat up top. I know they're going to do a screen up there around the top of the key where the officials on the right is standing. Yeah. You know, let, let's let's figure out what's going to happen because. Uh, you know, stick to your man. Don't get beat. Switch on the screens immediately, and know who's behind you. Yeah, you're you're exactly right. So, looks like Paley's going to come out in a box set underneath. Hopper going to take the ball out. Higgins on the far side. Nope, they're going to switch that. Yeah, we're going to get Hall taking that ball out. Willie's going to apply that pressure. You know, I think what's going to happen is they're going to set that screen still on top. We got to watch the curl. Yep. You know, Shelby's got the big mismatch underneath. Here comes the curl. Good job by Lily to knock that out. We're going to lose just a little bit of time off the clock. 6.9 seconds. Paley's going to call Paley's timeout. Paley's going to take a timeout here. We're going to step aside for a quick commercial break from the Youth Foundation. We'll be back in just a moment. In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now, that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs, in whatever you do. Talk, they hear you. Back to action here at T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium where the Senators do lead by one. Yeah, you heard me correctly. They've trailed most of the game, but they lead by one. 6.9 seconds to go here. Senators have no fouls to give. They can't foul. Um, and they've got to get a stop. Any bucket wins this game for the Rams. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got to do just like we said. Watch the curl. We seen we seen Higgins run off the curl. Now Higgins is going to take the ball out. So I'd say that's that opens up for Matty or uh, yeah Matty Vernon. I'd say Matty Vernon is going to touch the ball here. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna inbound the ball and it's going to go back to Higgins. So as she throws it in. She's looking to get yeah. it back. And Jayla catches it. Throw it up court, babe. That's it. Senators win by one. Great job there by the Lady Senators to get the takeaway at the end of the game. Lady Rams unable to get a shot up. We're going to run down our final stats. We're also going to be joined by two um, Lady Senators seniors. They're going to come over. So, Ryan, you're going to get to talk to them. Gotcha. Um, leading the way in scoring for the Senators is Jayla Bat. None more important than her final two underneath, but she has 13 on top of that, so that's 15 total for her. Um, after that, you have Ava Woods with eight. 
Shelby Griffiths with four, Lily Thompson with four, Emma Schmidt with four, and Meredith Deaton with three for their 38. On the other side, the Rams are led in scoring by Carly Higgins with 16. Jericho Hopper has nine, and Maddie Vernon with six. Um, Anna Radcliffe with four, and Avery Cruz with two. Lady Senators in the second half shot three free throws, weren't able to hit any of them. Um, they were nine of 14 from two-point range for 64%. They were one of three from three-point range for 33%. So overall, 10 of 17 in the second half for 58%. Lady Rams didn't shoot a free throw in the second half. Uh, they were six of, 12, uh, six of 14 from two-point range for 42%. They were one of three from three-point range for 16%. So overall, seven of 17 for 41%. The rebounding uh, in the second half, Senators with nine, Rams with seven, and the Senators had eight turnovers in the second half where the Rams had nine. So those are our uh, statistics rundown. Ryan, what do you think? Hey, you know, I, I tell you what, Craig, it was great to have that, you know, the, you know, the, the momentum we had here tonight going into the game, and I think I think we kind of just kind of fell off track there, and it may have been the way we started out tonight in the first in the first quarter, but uh, you know I think whenever the, whenever it's all said and done, and you look back, and and I don't see too many negative things that the Senators done. I, I can't really just reach out there and say that this is what what could have caused us the game. This is what we could have done maybe a little bit better. The things that come out to me is the positive things that we did. You know. One of the things that I will say was a negative thing is Meredith Deaton comes out and has three points, yeah. you know, and she didn't score till the second half. Yep. Is, is that negative? No, that's not negative, but that hurts you because, you know, Meredith is your leading scorer. Yeah. You know, Meredith pulled down 39 points in one game there not too long ago. Right. So, so you know, it, it's one of those things that is it, it gets you offset. But whenever you go back into it, I think whenever you look at the positive things that Senators did as a team, we, bo we boxed out a lot. We rebounded a lot. Ava Woods come in here and dominated the inside of the basket underneath the goal as we wanted her to the whole season. Nobody got in Ava, in, you know, in Ava's way tonight. Ava came in, she boxed out. She she built the wall seven or eight times as as uh, Hopper comes in and tries yeah. to dominate over. And I tell you what, body for body, matchup to matchup, I'd love to see them two go at it one on one three or four times. That you know, yeah. and just and just oh, yeah. see who 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 outcomes because I think I think it'll be even. You know, and I think the the positive things, Emma Schmidt coming in there and hitting a rebound. Shelby coming in there and driving to the basket. You know, we did get a few things in there that I would like to see change. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think that there was one thing I could pick out all night other than just the positive things that happened. I think there was a lot of positive things that happened. We have a good crowd. We still got a good crowd here. I think they're going to yeah, celebrate with the seniors here after a while. Well, and they're not going to celebrate with the seniors until we celebrate with oh, the seniors because they're walking this way right well, now. That's good. So that's good. We've got Shelby and, and Eva coming this way. So I'm going to hand my headset over. Hi, ladies. How are you doing? Good. Great. Hey, hey, hey we got uh, we got uh, Shelby Griffiths here, number twelve, the the blonde little short girl on this court. If you're on the radio, and then we got Eva O'Toole, number two. Eva started out here tonight. Uh, you know, girls uh, going into the night's game. Uh, uh, how'd you feel about coming in here? Um, I was a little bit scared senior night. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> the LAC game, but we fought through it. Yeah, Eva. What about you? It was really exciting, but definitely nerve-wracking. Oh, I, I would say, I would say, you know what? And we started out tonight. You both got a big start tonight uh, coming off the home floor. And, you know, you, you guys got lucky. You're going to get to play sectional here. Um, you know, that that's one thing that some seniors don't get to do. So, you know, it's not your last game on the court. So, you know, I, I, what, uh, what advice did Coach Messmore give you coming into tonight? Um, we knew they were going to play zone, and so we knew we had to come out with our zone offense and drive and dish it out for the shots. Yep. Yeah, and that and that that's great. And, and uh, so, uh, just a few minutes here, we got left over. Uh, Eva, what's uh, what's your plans after you leave the Senator Court? I plan to go to IUS and pursue nursing. That's good. What about you, Shelby? Um, I'm going to IUS too, and uh, major in education. Oh, good. Maybe you guys can carpool. Oh, <laughs> I know. That's yeah. a good idea. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. Hey, you, you do, if you don't know, these two are best best friends, and they they're together all the time. And what one don't know, the other one does. And I think there's a couple more in there involved in that. So, uh, <laughs> like I say, girls, you did a great job tonight. What do you got to say to our broadcasting people out here? You want to give shout outs to anybody or or? Uh, uh, thanks to my family, Ryan. You're my family <laughs> today. <laughs> at least, at least and I'm, all my friends. Yeah. What great. about you, Eva? 
same family friends. Yeah, yeah, it, and you know the Senators are, are a good uh, family family atmosphere. Everyone cares about each other, and you had a great job. You want to give a sh uh, shout-out to any of the coaches or anything this year? Oh, yeah, to all the coaches. They put in so much time for us, and uh, we love them for that, yeah. Yep, yep. Any, any big plans this summer? Travel. Going to travel around? That's yeah. good. Spring break, we're going to the Bahamas together. Hey, yeah. that's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh -huh. That's good. But <laughs> I think I think I think Craig, Sorry. Sorry, can Craig. you guys take Craig? He's, no. he's, he's, <laughs> he's kind of wanting to go, I think. But uh, you know, like, we like I say, we uh, we appreciate you girls and everything you did for us. And get a picture there. Uh, your Aunt Trish is going to take a picture of you guys on the radio. I think that might go on Facebook after a while. But, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For oh, sure. yeah. I think there's some uh, family and friends want to meet with you there in the cafeteria. Maybe this guy over here might want to talk to you. But uh, just a great turnout for your team tonight. Uh, you, you guys got on the court and you did did some wonderful things, and we're glad to be able to broadcast with you guys. Hope you guys have a good uh, rest of your career here at the West Washington Senator T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court. <laughs> but better yet, we hope you guys you know go on and, and pr prosper and do good in life as as you guys are good kids and got good parents and stuff. So thank uh, you, thank you. <laughs> with that, we'll get back turned over here to Craig. Uh, we'll get a sign off here in just a second. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go ahead and sign her off. Uh, uh, we want to thank everyone for tuning in tonight. We want to thank Shelby and Eva for coming up here and, and getting to talk to us. Uh, Senators win tonight, 38 to 37, in that thriller right there at the end. Jayla Bat has two off of the off of a uh, rebound and back up. So, uh, just an outstanding performance by the Senators. Last game here on on the Ron Smith Court as the Senators until we come back next Tuesday night. If you uh, want to be a sponsor again, get a hold of myself or Craig. Uh, we'd like to get those sponsors in uh, uh, for the sectional, and it doesn't have to be for anything other than just even if it's your, your neighbor kid or anything like that. Uh, we may put a sponsor in for our seniors. Who knows? So with that being said, Ryan Bat along with Craig Akers, we'll talk at you later. <laughs>